Welcome! We are happy to have you today to talk about our cooperative. Here, we will tell you what our cooperative stands for, what it has to offer to its members, and what members are expected to do for the cooperative. Let us start by answering what is first and foremost in your minds. What is CFI? CFI is the short name for Cebu CFI Community Cooperative, established since 1970. It is a cooperative of good standing registered with the Cooperative Development Authority a government regulatory agency tasked with supervising cooperatives in the country. The next question that will come into your mind is, why use CFI as its name? These three letters carry no special significance unless we go back in time when it all began more than 50 long years ago. Back then, the employees of the Court of First Instance of Cebu were victims of the abusive lending practices of money lenders or loan sharks as we call them today. By the way, Courts of First Instance or CFI as they were then called were the primary courts in the country which first heard and decided civil and criminal cases. Today, they are now called Regional Trial Courts or RTC. Typical of any employee at that time, most of the CFI court personnel never got to see their salaries on paydays as they were already mortgaged to the so-called loan sharks at usurious interest rates of 10 to 20 percent per month. In the end, these employees eventually fell into a debt trap a vicious cycle of indebtedness that chained and tied them to these loan sharks for the rest of their lives. So, CFI was born. It was founded by the late Judge Esperanza Garcia with the intention of liberating these court personnel from the bondage of loan sharks. The idea was very simple. Why not form a cooperative where members with some funds to invest will collectively contribute to a pooled fund for other members to borrow. It was a win-win proposition for both the member investor and member borrower. The member investor will earn more than what he earns from banks while the member borrower will be obtaining a loan at interest rates much lower than those charged by the loan sharks. So, in April 1970, the cooperative was formed with 29 members and a capital of 200 pesos. Today, it is a multi-billion cooperative with 130,000 members. The three letters of CFI were carried as part of the name of the cooperative for it was originally intended as a cooperative for CFI personal. However, as the cooperative expanded to other offices and establishments in the government and private sectors, the word community was added to its name. Yet, for want of a shorter name, members simply call the cooperative CFI, and this name stuck until now. Today, CFI no longer stands for Court of First Instance, as the cooperative where members always ran to at the first instance of financial need, the letters now stand for Co-op of First Instance. From this historical backdrop, CFI is grounded on two pillars of support that form the foundation of its very existence. First, investment of members into a pooled fund for other members to borrow at reasonable rates of interest. Second, loans for members out of the pooled fund to generate decent returns for the member investors. These two pillars define what CFI is, its purpose, and its mission. 
Let us discuss in detail these two pillars of support for they are also the principal basis for the major services and facilities of the cooperative. At CFI, investment can take in a form of share capital, savings, and time deposit. What is share capital? Share capital are equity contributions of a member in the capital structure of the cooperative. It is not a deposit which a member can withdraw any time. It is, in one sense, like shares of stocks in a corporation, but different in a sense that it will not be the basis for voting in cooperative affairs by a member. In a cooperative, a member has only one vote regardless of the amount of contribution. So, unlike a deposit, a share capital cannot be withdrawn by a member without the approval of the board of the CFI and only after three years from its contribution. However, the share capital of a member is entitled to earn dividends from the surplus profits of the cooperative at year end in proportion to the amount of contribution. Pursuant to the Cooperative Code of the Philippines, these dividends are tax-exempt income. Under present policy, a member must maintain at least 2,000 pesos in share capital but can invest up to 200,000 pesos in share capital contribution for every year of membership. For the past several years, CFI has been consistently distributing dividends to its members at the rate equivalent to 8% of the amount of their contribution. Although this is not a guarantee, management at CFI strives to generate such rate of return every year. Then we have savings and time deposits. Savings and time deposits are money placements of members with the CFI which generate interest income if not withdrawn for a specified period of time. Again, pursuant to the Cooperative Code, these interest income are tax exempt. Savings deposit generate interest income at 3% per annum, provided it is not withdrawn for 90 days. Time deposit generate interest income at the rate of 5% per annum, provided they are not withdrawn for a period of 12 months. The second pillar of support of CFI is loans for members. Loans for members are generally classified into employees' loans, special individual loans, commercial loans, and microfinance loans. Employees' loans are loans extended to members where the basis for computation of the loan is their basic salary, net take-home pay, or amount of benefits received from employment. Under this category are the following types of loans. Salary loans, bonus loans, which could either be mid-year or 13th month, benefit loans, and special judicial loan, such as grocery, a rice allowance, economic allowance, and judicial development fund. Special individual loans are loans extended to individual members where the basis for computing loan amount are certain sources of income or collateral securities other than the compensation from employment. These are pension loans, allotment loans, personal advantage loans, deposit loans, and credit e-wallet. CFI also offers business loans to members in the form of commercial loans and microfinance loans. One of the distinct privileges of a member who borrows from the cooperative fund is the privilege of receiving a patronage refund. Patronage refund entitles a borrowing member a refundable interest rebate equivalent to a percentage of the total interest paid 
for his loan in a calendar year. For a more detailed discussion of these loans, please go to our website at www.cficoop.com. In addition to these services, CFI has a health plan under the so-called Mutual Medical Assistance Fund or MMAF. For an annual contribution of 6,240 pesos, a member can claim up to a maximum of 100,000 pesos in medical and hospital expenses in a covered year. To ensure the sustainability of this fund, members below 60 years of age are required to participate. For more details about this fund, please go to our website at www.cficoop.com. While membership at the CFI entitles the members with privileges such as the right to avail of the services mentioned, it all carries certain responsibilities to ensure the continued operation of the cooperative and the fulfillment of its mission. First, every member must pay an annual membership dues of 1,000 pesos. Second, a member must always maintain an updated record of his personal data in the CFI database. This is particularly very important in cases his mobile phone number, postal address, bank records, and sources of income such as salary, pension amount, allotment amount, and such other required sources of income. This data will be used by CFI not only in sending notices to the members but also in the delivery of the CFI services. Every member must pay on time all his outstanding obligations to the co-op when they are due for payment. As a rule, any outstanding obligation which is not paid after 90 days from its due date will be considered in default. A member must at all times avoid having any of his loan obligations to go in default. Otherwise, a member in default will suffer these consequences. Firstly, membership with a cooperative will be suspended resulting in suspension of enjoyment of CFI services, including health or MMAF services. Secondly, member will be reported to the Credit Information Corporation for blacklisting. CIC is a government corporation which keeps all records of loan status from individual borrowers in order for financial institutions to view and conduct credit background checks. Thirdly, pursuant to the Article 59 of the Cooperative Code of the Philippines, CFI has a lien over deposits of the defaulting member with any bank in the Philippines which can be attached to answer for the loan in default. Finally, a civil action for collection will be filed in court. Understandably, these drastic actions will be resorted to as funds used for loans are funds of the members. CFI has various types of support facilities to enable its members to transact for any of the services and facilities available to them. CFI has its central office at the Cebu Capital Compound, Cebu City. It has also 25 satellite and branch offices nationwide. A member can go to any of these offices and a CFI personal will be there to address any of their concern. However, one does not even have to go personally to these offices in order to transact with CFI. First, he can go to any of the 2,500 Emiliar branches nationwide in order to apply for a loan or renew a loan withdraw a deposit, update any of his profile, and pay a loan or health fund contributions. A member can just download the forms needed for those transactions at www.cficoop.com. 
Second, a member need not even go out of his house to transact with CFI. Through the online e-services of the CFI, a member can view his statement of accounts, apply for a loan or renew the same, withdraw his deposits, update his membership profile, and monitors the status of his transaction. Just go to the e-services section of the CFI website at www.cficoop.com or download the CFI e-wallet application on the smartphone and all of these services will be available to the member at his fingertips anytime, anywhere. And contacting CFI for any question or concern can be done more effectively through modern channels of communication. Now, a member does not need to leave the confines of his home in order to send a query or concern to CFI. CFI has the most modern help desk in the country at www.cficoop.com. Here, a member receives email and text messages for every action done on his case. He can also track the status of his case by logging in the assigned ticket number in the CFI help desk. Better still, use the CFI call center by dialing 032-255-2525 and a call center agent will be there to listen to any member's concern. There you are. That is CFI, a cooperative which has been with us for more than 50 years. And for the multitude of its members, it is and will always be our co-op of first instance.